Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with the SharePoint online series and in this video we will learn about user profiles, how you can add properties to the user profiles, how you can edit it and other settings uh, in the user profiles. So let's start. So here you can click on more features and then here is user profile. So you can open user profile and then it will open the user profile. So you can see this is the user profile, manage user properties manage user profiles now here you update the user profile data and here you edit add or delete the user profile properties so we'll add one so manage user properties and then uh, these are the basic information and then contact information details delegation others and there is custom properties so we'll add one custom property so new property Here I'll add division. I'll add one uh, custom property division. And the display name would be same. Uh, this would be of a string type only. And the length I would increase to 50. Description if you want to make, you can make. Now the policy setting, whether you want it to be required field or mandatory field. If not, then you can make it optional. I would make it optional and if you want uh, that everyone be able to edit it then you can make it everyone or only me only me meaning only me and the admin so this is only me allow users to edit values of the property yes if you want users to allow the property and so on the edit details page yes I will require to so that they can update their divisions so divisions department they should update and then that's all i can click okay so it might take some time and a new custom property in the user profile pro will be created so as you can see here uh, division is created and i'll create one more property directorate so in my organization there is a department and Beneath department there are divisions and beneath divisions there are directorate. So I have this directorate and I'll increase this to 50 and again not rec optional and only me or user can override it. User cannot override it but uh, allow users to allow the property and edit its page and that's all okay. Now this is how you create a property, custom property. Uh, you can click on user profile to go to that page. And if you want to add the data, you have to search it. Like suppose I search test and I can find one IRS test on user. I can click on this and I can edit my pro profile. And from here I can update the data. So here are my divisions, uh, division one and division, uh, sorry, directorate. Directorate one. So these are my divisions and directorate and you can save and close. So these are also the properties which you can edit. And click on user profile so this is the way in which you uh, manage edit and uh, here if you want to edit any property you can do that as well you can uh, suppose I want to edit any custom property here is division so you can click on this edit and if you want to edit anything you can edit from here not everything you will be able to edit like display name you can add then description you can edit you can Added optional and only me or replicable or you user can overwrite and these settings you can edit and then you can if you click on OK you can save it so this is how you can create a new property in user profile and you can edit like this also thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe.